Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. I'm fresh out the gym. Right on to making this content for y'all. I'm inspired. <coughs> Excuse me. We're here with another Zach Russian video today. Uh, this one is called Me and Sarah Are Still Proud to Be From Here. Where y'all from, Zach? Where y'all from? Before we start, what would you guys think about something of like an advice column for our community hmm you guys let me know how you feel about that be sure to subscribe hit the bell notification so y'all know when i drop some more heat for y'all let's get into it okay let me see if i got this straight because i may be messed up on some of my way of thinking but somebody got to explain uh -huh. something to me because something ain't starting the gumbo here all right now to the best <laughs> of my knowledge once every four years, everybody around the world sends their best athletes to the Olympics. They mm -hmm. are going to represent your country and see who is the best of their craft, of their athletic sport. That's what we do once every four years. That's my understanding. If I'm off cue, somebody correct me. Now, for about the last two months, America has somehow embarrassed themselves to the point that we are the laughing stock <laughs> of the entire world because of the way that we're doing shit. That's somehow, already the case, we have though. lost our grit when it comes to sports. Because whoever the hell is approving this shit that we're doing, y'all are the type of people when y'all's kids were playing Little League in right field because they didn't have a fucking clue what was going on because y'all were too worried about y'all shit instead of going out in the yard playing catch with them. And then when they received their participation trophy, you told them they should be proud of that instead of making them throw that shit in the garbage can and tell them that trophies don't go to everybody, you gotta earn one. That's who's running our damn country right now. That's what's happening. Let me tell y'all what I mean. We had the fastest women's sprinter in the entire world. Shakari Robinson, with nobody was touching her, and she had six inch long fingernails. It's not exactly aerodynamic, okay? And she was still fitting to wax every other country's ass over there, and we done decided that yep. she can't go because she smoked a joint, which is illegal in, which right. is illegal in like 17 states in the USA after receiving news about a horrible tragedy she's going through in her family. Not to mention, she owned up to it, and we still didn't give her the honor of going and representing us, and she was ready right. to represent us, okay? Right. Number two, we're sending a man over there to deadlift with the women. What? What? We can send that? Are you serious? So she smokes a joint, which is a herb. It's just a, it's a <coughs> plant. It just grows like that. And Comes she just from the so earth. happened to set that bitch on fire, okay? But he can do all of this biological change and shit and then go deadlift 600 pounds men are stronger than women how the hell is that fair we are the laughing stock of the entire olympics not only that but now simone biles is withdrawing herself from the olympics because somehow it is okay to grade her on a harder scale because she's a better athlete than every right. other person on this whole planet right her craft dimming her light out here what? bro when did becoming exceptional be grounds for punishment. Right. She deserves all the gold medals. Have you seen her jump? I'm six foot five and she could clear me like with half throttle. She can do whatever she wants to. I know y'all saw her subway commercials. And the last <laughs> of it, and this is the one that really hurts me the worst. We're sending people to the Olympics who aren't even representing this country. They're representing themselves. There is countless pictures of the athletes that we're sending over there to represent the United States of America, who don't even stand in attention during our national anthem. There's a picture of three of them on a damn podium. Two of them are paying attention. The other one's sending a tweet. Our entire USA hmm. women's uh, I missed that team, picture. There's like three of them that stand for the national anthem. The rest of them are on the ground. Well, I get it. If you want to protest inside this country, you do it here. You don't do it on a national stage because I got news for y'all. Everywhere across the whole world when people are waving their flags and stuff and they're rallying and stuff like that They are proud of the athletes that they sent. We can't be proud of you Embarrassing us. We are the laughing stock of the entire Olympics And I got news for y'all because of the bullshit that has been allowed to send over there I'm not watching one single event. It's not happening. I'm boycotting that shit. Uh, me and Sarah both. She ain't watching none and neither am I. It might not make a difference in the ratings but I can tell you this, I can be able to look myself in the mirror tomorrow and say that I'm still proud of this damn country I live in. Woo! Shit! 
shit. I can say I'm mostly, <clears throat> I'm mostly thankful that I'm from here, you know. The world, you know, there are a lot of way worse places in the world. But, you know, as every, as all things go, everywhere ain't perfect. But one of the biggest issues going on right now in the United States of the America. The unjustified killing of black and other people of color. Black Lives Matter, you guys. If you're here watching this, I know. I know you guys already know. But if by some chance, uh, uh, in All Lives Matter folk or blue lives matter folk comes across this your movements are not real and because blue lives it's not a skin tone it's not an ethnicity it's a uniform you can remove and all lives matter obviously all lives matter but all lives don't matter until black lives matter i appreciate y'all for tuning in i'll catch you on the next video until next time Peace out.